So today, lots of shooting, but I want you guys to practice being really direct with your dribbling. Okay, so to be honest, I got a lot better at soccer because I always used to have like all the skills, but all I would do is do like tricks in front of the player and go nowhere with the ball. Okay, so I want you guys to get in the habit of when there's space, I don't have to beat anyone. You know what I mean? If you're the defender and you're there, I don't have to go here to go here. Does it make sense? All I have to do is go here. Okay, so we're gonna practice different angles, but the biggest thing is you guys sprinting with the ball. If you're sprinting too fast and you lose it, that's okay, practice, yes? But, and sometimes we do the drills and you guys always make fun of you because you're like this. Right, yes? So instead of that, I wanna see. Running with the ball, yeah? Get it out of your stride and run, okay? First one, you're just gonna start basic. All I want you to do, pick up a ball, you're gonna run right at that cone. Here, cut, strike, okay? So just take turns. As soon as you see her take her shot, you go next, okay? This, I'll, this one, all I want you to do, dribble right at it, cut right, hit it. Focus on the dribbling and do the shooting after, ready? Right at, cut, hit it. Yes! Okay, it's a good start. Before we move on, I wanna do that one more time because I want you guys to have confidence here. Um, how old are you, Bryn? Uh, 10. Bryn's actually 10. She should be using size four. Are you still size four as well? Tylee, are you still size four balls? You're si size five. Okay, so Bryn's hitting the older, the older balls. As a young player, I'm challenging her. Plus, I don't wanna bring a bag of fours and a bag of fives but she's doing really well, okay? Both of you, sprint faster with the ball. Okay? Like I said, if you lose it, that's fine, but push your speed. Okay, I came a bit closer. Um, you shoot from a bit closer this time. Couple good shots, yeah? One you missed, why'd you miss? Uh, I wasn't leaning over. You weren't leaning over, you lost control. Yeah, you as well? What about your body position? What was the big thing for me? Um, yeah. yeah, you weren't doing that, right? You were doing really good, and then when it was time to shoot, you touched it, and then you came here. Sprint, run with the ball, yes? Okay, um, let me demo one more. Okay, but again, sprint here faster. It's the same drill, just cut right every time. I just want you going right foot right now, let's get some confidence. But I need to see, sprint with the ball. If there's space, sprint into it. Okay, but the shooting, watch the shooting. Speed, cut, okay. Like I'm really overemphasizing, but I want you guys to see when I hit, I'm still here. I'm never hitting, play. I'm never hitting and I'm like here. Okay, I wanna go forward with the movement. That's better, go. Cool. Jog back. Head down. Yes. Oh, dodge that. Good, speed, speed, speed. Head down, smash. Yes, much better. Dodge that. Nice shot, beautiful shot, go. Now you got it girls, go. Head down. Yes, so much better, go. Yeah, just send the balls back. Yeah, for them, I'm not, I'm not worried about the quality of the shots. I want them to get it on target, so I don't worry like where it is right now. Just the contact of the shot, getting nice, firm, Firm foot contact, good fall through, body positioning. We can worry about picking corners later. But for them, it's just first part of the drill, actually sprinting with the ball. Sometimes you want players to, to dribble into space, but they're jogging with the ball. As soon as they have the ball at their feet, their pace and their speed disappears. So practice sprinting. If you lose it, it's fine. And then getting, it's one thing to shoot a ball from a standstill. It's different to shoot a ball when you're running full speed. So I'm not worried about where the balls go. I just wanna see them on target. And I wanna see good focus on the body technique and the flex foot, leaning forward towards the goal. Okay, everything is left foot, so. Dribble left, just like you did on those drills, yes? This left-footed shot, 
the most if you important- like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. The most important touch is gonna be here. Okay, because usually your left is weaker than your right, yes? Left is weaker than your right. So even when you like take a pass, you take a shot, it's gonna be weaker. Your touch in most situations is gonna be weaker. The most important touch is the one I take before the shot. So if it's too weak and it's here, it's tough for me to get a good shot off. So really focus. When I come here, get this out of your feet so you can actually run into it. Left, left, left. Yes. I want all dribble, I want dribble. Big touch, hit. Nice, Bryn. Left dribble, left dribble, left touch, left hit. Yes? Yes, go. And lean forward more, you're still standing up. Big touch, head down, smash that. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, practice. I want this dribble left, not right. Dribble everything left, touch left, hit left. Okay, when it's time to shoot, head down, flex it hard, just rip on it. Go as hard as you can, you're not gonna hit it over that. Go, touch, 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 run with it, run with it, run with it, big touch. Head down, flex, hit it, swing. Yes! So good. Okay, go, go again, girls. Get the balls back, we'll move on. That's good. That's good, yeah? This girl, this girl a year ago could not even move her left leg when it came to shooting. Her range of motion was like this, and she couldn't get off the ground. Now she's using size five balls and putting them in the top corner. A lot of kids, when it's time to shoot, especially on their weaker side, if you, if you compare your right foot or your strong foot, the strong foot is nice and flowing, good backswing, good follow through. Okay, on their left side, their shot looks like so restricted, it's like this. They don't swing the leg, okay? So it's, you need to compare your two legs because I bet you if you're having bad shots on one side, your stronger foot does something different. It's not the strength in the leg so much, it's the technique of the movement. Okay, so on your weak side, get that big flowing follow through. The ball, good contact. Flex that foot, good contact. On your weaker side, it feels weird. You can flex it, like you can make a fist with your right foot or your strong foot, but when you're shooting with your left, it's like weak and limp. You have to learn to flex it, the technique of the foot. Okay, come back girls. Let's go over here. And I'm actually gonna move this closer for you as well. So, with them, I had set this up, but again, this, my shooting distance is closer to, or further away from theirs. But I realized after a few reps that, hey, they're gonna get more success out of it being closer. Not because it's easier, I just want them getting confidence hitting the net every single time. Yes, it's gonna make it harder, it's gonna challenge them more, but if they're struggling to get repetitions on goal, they're gonna get frustrated. So when I see that they're confident and they're nailing that every single time, then we can increase the distance. So it's okay to start easy, build the confidence, and then you make it harder. Okay. So, same idea. What are we doing when we have the ball and, we're, and there's open space? Big touches, but sprinting with the ball, yeah? We're not jogging, ball, yeah? We're not jogging, sprint. I wanna see sometimes maybe you lose it because you're trying to go so fast, yeah? Get away from trying to beat players. You beat players when you have to beat players. If you wanna score goals, you just attack space. Does it make sense? Get into the open space, get your shot off. Okay, so I'll come a bit closer, move all the balls here. This is the same idea, it's just a different angle, okay? So, this is like a winger, yes? Winger, okay, so you guys are starting to get better with both feet, right? Right and left foot, yeah? You can shoot with both, you can dribble with both, right? If I'm attacking from this uh, left side, I'm always trying to come in on the right, yes? Yeah. I'm trying to get my shot off. If I come in and there's no space there, and there's no space in the middle, that's fine. I can I can come out and I can go down onto my left, right? But the, if you wanna score goals, you wanna get into the middle of the field, right? Okay, so if I'm coming from the right side, I usually dribble on my left, cut on my left, hit on my left if I can, right? If I have to go outside on a worse angle, then I will. But this side from the left, I'm trying to come inside. So I just, again, sprint at this. When it's here, cut inside. And I keep it, giving it to the goalie. Play again. Something like that, yes? Okay, speed dribble, 
take a big touch inside, get past the defender with your touch. Get your shot on net, ready, go. Yes, I love that, yes. Good, stop, please just stop there, just stop there, okay? From there, you were in control of the ball the whole time, yes? How many touches did you take to get there? One touch. I could take 20 touches to get that distance, you took one touch, and it wasn't away from you, you were right on top of it, it was perfect weight, it was very good, go again, ready, go. Yes, touch if you need to, head down. Good, Bryn, cool. Yeah, good. Yes, okay. And that's maybe like two or three, but they're quick, they're in control. So if you're watching this like as a coach or a parent, there's a very thin line between giving too much advice and not giving enough. Sometimes you just have to let them figure it out for themselves. If you're stopping the drill every, every repetition to give them advice, it's gonna be, it's gonna be overwhelming for them and they're just not getting the time on the ball. But if they do something well, the most important thing to do is stop and praise and explain why they did it well so they remember to do it again and again and again. But uh, the biggest thing that I was just talking about for her is she took one touch. I'm encouraging them to sprint into space. Don't worry about all the skills. The best skill is to dribble in a straight line as fast as you can. For her, I was praising her because so many players in this position, there's space and they're, they're trying to do this to cover the same distance she took one touch her weight of touch was perfect she, the ball was never away from her her weight of touch was perfect to cut and strike can you hit me in the air ping it to me who can hit me in the air way Nice, Bryn. Get that touch. You get that one or what? <clears throat> one thing I'm always focused on, especially shooting, but like all skills, is the correction of the technique. So it's one thing to say, good job, bad job, but how can they make it better? So to really break it down, sometimes you have to come out of the drill and just go to basic technique to fix the things and then they can actually apply it in the drill. Okay, what am I telling you to do better with your shooting though, with your left foot? What did uh, I just say? You're telling me to follow through and not just chop. No, don't just chop your finish, right? Right now, you just, your finish is stopping here. I want to see that, that leg come through and also your body positioning because you're, you're chopping and not, my body's like here and like falling that way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, where do I want my body to go? Towards the net. Towards the net. Okay, so I want to see this fall through and the body go through the ball, make sense? Okay, I don't care where the ball goes right now, I just wanna see that technique. Okay, just start, start there. Yeah, and just head down, swing through, show me body and show the follow through, follow through. Yes, that's fine, that's fine, okay? And But you hit it on the inside of your foot there, right? But your body's way better, it's just cause you hit it like this. Where do I wanna hit it, here. Follow through again, swing, and start more on this side. You'll correct, go, do a few, you, you, you. Yes, even more, go again. Back, go again. Go, head down, flex, swing your leg right through the ball. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. Sometimes you have to make, you have to make different mistakes in order to find out what works. Go again, go again, go again, do all these. Swing through. Yes, that's better, again. Keep the foot flex and I wanna see your finish up here. Yes, that's your best one, go one more. Finish on a good one. Come on, quick feet, big swing. Yes, beautiful. Feels better? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes when you give players advice, they're actually gonna make more mistakes before they get back to what you actually wanted. But as long as they're making different mistakes, it's okay. I just don't wanna see the same mistake again and again and again. If I tell you to change something and you end up doing something different, which didn't produce the result that you wanted, that's okay. Because we screw up in different ways until we find what works. But as long as you're not doing the same mistakes, we can improve fast. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.